Gear is a crucial element of power transmission. We find the gears from clocks to aeroplanes. Yes, in today's video I'll be talking about different types of gears with their advantages, disadvantages and applications. So let's begin. First is spur gear. The teeth of spur gear are parallel to axis of gear. That video I will put the link in the cards. Okay, now let us talk about the gear ratio. Gear ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of number of teeth on driven gear to number of teeth on driver gear. Generally the gear ratio of spur gear is 1 s to 1 to 6 s to 1. Well advantages of spur gear spur gear is simple in construction it is easy to manufacture it has low cost it has excellent precision rating disadvantages we can transmit power between two shafts where the center distance is limited if center distance between two shafts is large then we must go for belt drives spur gears produce lot of noise at high speed as the teeth are perfectly straight so it undergoes large amount of stress applications of spur gear spur gears are used in clocks and watches in household applications like washing machine Spur gears are used to increase or decrease the torque. Spur gears are used in gear pumps to pressurize the fluids. And as we have discussed, it can be used in motorcycle gearboxes. Second is helical gear. The gear whose teeth are inclined to axis, then it is known as helical gear. These gears are used to transmit the power and motion between two parallel shafts. We have discussed this gear pair also. If you have not seen video of constant mesh gearbox, you can watch it. Link is in the cards. The gear ratio of helical gear is 1 s to 1 to 6 s to 1. Now let us see the advantages of helical gear. It has higher load carrying capacity. Helical gear operates smoother and quieter than spur gear. Wear and tear of helical gear is less. Due to constant meshing, velocity is constant at the output. Disadvantages It is costlier than spur gears. The helix angle introduces axial thrust on shaft, so thrust bearings are required. There is power loss due to axial thrust and this thrust generates heat. Applications of Helical Gear Helical gears are used in automobile gearboxes. These are used in fertilizer industry, printing industry, plastic industry and food industry. Third is Herringbone Gear Herringbone gear is nothing but double helical gear. This gear pair is also used to transmit the power and motion between two parallel shafts. Herringbone gear has opposite helical teeth. Gear ratio of herringbone gear is 10 s to 1. Advantages Two opposite axial force will nullify each other and the shaft is free from axial force. Due to double helical power, transmission capacity is high. Next point disadvantages Due to double helical, manufacturing cost is more than helical gears. Balancing of thrust force depends upon equal distribution of load on right and left part of gear. Fourth is rack and pinion type gear. Rack is a segment of gear with infinite diameter. The teeth are spur or helical. 
that is teeth are parallel or inclined to the axis of pinion this gear pair is used to convert rotary motion of pinion into reciprocating motion of rack or reciprocating motion of rack into rotary motion of pinion now let us talk about the advantages of rack and pinion it is the easiest way to convert rotary motion into reciprocating motion or vice versa this gear pair is compact in size it is robust in construction and it is cheaper disadvantages noise in the operation rack and pinion always work with friction well applications of rack and pinion gear it is used in less carriage drive mechanism where the rotary motion of handle is converted into reciprocating motion of carriage it is used in drilling machine spindle movement same rotary motion of handle gives upward and downward motion of spindle the famous one application is steering system and the last is steer lift fifth type is bevel gear bevel gears are used to transmit the power and motion between two intersecting shafts by changing the gear profile we can transmit power and motion between two shafts which are not exactly at 90 degrees the gear ratio is 3 as to 2 to 10 as to 1 okay advantages of bevel gear it can operate under high speeds and high loads it is suitable for 1 as to 1 velocity ratio at an angle disadvantages of bevel gear it is complicated in design and manufacture it requires more precision applications of bevel gear the popular application is automobile differential it is used in material handling equipments it is used in food canning equipments bevel gears are used in food packaging equipment sixth and last type of gear is worm and worm wheel this gear pair is consist of worm which is similar to screw and worm wheel this gear pair is used to transmit the power and motion between non parallel and non intersecting shafts the gear ratio of worm and worm wheel is 20 as to 1 advantages it has higher reduction ratio from 8 to 400 this gear pair is compact in size it has self locking feature there is no separating force between worm and worm wheel meshing is very effective it can be used to reduce the speed disadvantages of worm and worm wheel this gear pair produces heat at contact point efficiency of these gears is low manufacturing cost is more as compared with bevel gears it has high power losses applications of worm and worm wheel there is steering mechanism in automobiles it is used in conveyors worm and worm wheel is used in presses it is used in lifts this is all about all types of gears now here is one interesting question for you we have seen that helical gears are used to transmit the power and motion between two parallel shafts if i make the gear arrangement like this can we transmit the power and motion between non parallel shafts let me know your answer in the comment section below by just clicking the like button you can boost our will power please share this video on social platform and hit that bell icon by subscribing this channel to get notified about similar videos thank you so much